Welcome back, ladies and gents, and... Uh, one sec. Welcome back, ladies and gents, and we are surrounded by a bunch of genies. Um, fortunately, we are pretty good with our bows ourselves, and we can do a ton of damage back to them. And they'll leave behind a bunch of bottles. I... They die pretty fast, fortunately, especially for our group, which is... Ah, which is doing pretty good right now. The only problem is these genies, they will afraid your characters. So, of course, make sure that you can handle this. Fortunately, even if you don't have a cleric in your party or any sort of healing type, you can just simply rest it off if it becomes that bad. Though it really is not that bad of a statistic status ailment to have. I mean, the only thing it does is seemingly nothing. Um, it probably reduces your chance to hit. I don't know. Let me see now. I really should repair our gear real quick before we go any further. I've repaired it. And I don't know. Which ring of the gold did I have? Oh, this one. I don't know. There's nothing I can do. Good as new. Well, that and that, 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 that. Oop. And give that to her. Him. Good as new. Again, I say I am RPG that's actually confused. I don't know. Believe me, I have the exact same problems whenever I go and do any sort of role playing via like Neverwinter Nights or whatever. I'll accidentally call a woman a guy and a guy a woman. It's just, I, I don't know why it happens like that. Probably one of those uncomfortable conversation topics for me to pick, but whatever. I just blame it on the English language. It is a very sexist language. I really wish I could help. And I'm getting rid of that. It's just plain old full axe just taking up space. I don't know. Aha! Alright, we'll head out down this way, I guess. Casting Golden Touch all the while. Whoa. Take note, Shrap Metal works extremely good on these. As does an Angry Knight. Also, Fire Blast works good on these too. I don't think any of them do any permanent status ailments. The only one that does, I believe, is the Ifriti whenever they occasionally break your gear. And yikes. I was wondering why she wasn't recovering. Cast mind, remove fear. Oh! Defenders of Varn. out there. That's just as good. Oh, and another thing is too, make sure you have a character with a high might statistic. The reason why if you try to open up the exit door. Let's get out of here. Oh, you can just leave, I guess. <laughs> Whoopsie. I didn't think that we Let's get out of here. Could just leave the way we came in. It was my understanding that the Tomb of Varn required a high might st statistic to be able to open up the doors uh, to the exit. That's an interesting turn of events, 
and it also means that I can do this real quick. Um, follow what I'm doing here. You might remember how there was a chest key that we have that I did not find a use for. Well, I figure... Oop. On second thought, let me cast Tom Crow over Silver Cove real quick. Because I'm going to take the time while we are walking over to Boot Lake Bay to explain what I'm doing and check what month it is. It's October. Cast Town Portal to... no. Yeah, Free Haven. See, thing is, that chest that we got was from the Defender of Varn, a uh, fallen defender, a long, long time ago. Now, put two and two together and you'll realize that it's a fallen defender of Varn. Apparently lost his way or something, but whatever. Now, the thing is, the chest, the chest key that he has is to something very, very important. And it will prevent you from taking a ton of damage while you are inside the Tomb of Varn. Because technology is going to play a very important aspect here. Also, I'm going to turn down that volume in the background, because that probably can get annoying after a little while. Whoops. I traveled out the wrong way. Ugh. Apparently if you exit out the southwest, it's different than you exit out the southeast. I know, I'm flying. You can't see anything. Don't worry, you're not missing much of what's going on. Just me being an idiot. I didn't know that different areas get offer different kinds of border transitions, is all. Uh, we'll fly out down this way. Wait a minute. Maybe it's out east is where I want to go. Probably is. Okay, fly down. Bootleg Bay, this is where I wanted to go. Cast fly. Cast torchlight. Cast our flower. Day protection. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be heading to the Hall of the Fire Lord, obviously. And I really don't care about the cannibals on our way. They're just in the way right now. Up we go. I said up we go. Up we go. Pushing the wrong keys. That's my fault. All right, now the doorway isn't open this time. <laughs> Strange. Oh well, no matter. Fall down here real quick. I don't quite remember the exact way to get to where we need to go. Don't worry, this is just a hallway that I had to go down in. I'm not even sure if this is the right way. It might be though. Got it. There it is. Perfect. The crystal skull. A single piece. A single piece of bluish crystal carved in the shape of a human skull. Give that to her. It's very kinda useful. And we picked up a hammer. Oh joy. Ah. Alright, now that we have gotten that, eh, boot up the goblins, because I like money. Money, 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 money. Alright, Lloyd's Beacon, cast out to Dragon Sand. And we head north, not south. North isn't south. Hey, this isn't oxygen. Saved. Now we'll head out this way. Tapestry. With painstaking care, you are able to decipher the message of the hieroglyphs. Through the crossing of the void, <clears throat> through the crossing of the void, be a long and arduous journey. 
The land you find at the end will be sweet and unspoiled by ancestors or the enemy. Take heart that your children's children will live in a perfect world, free of war, free of famine, and free of fear. Remember your sacred duty to care for the ship on her long voyage and ensure her safe arrival in the promised land. Tend well the guardian and...